Hello my friends, so welcome again. We are in the part 2 now to work with Laravel Statamic CMS. We are inside the dashboard. Here is our application and I have opened the statamic.dev to see the docs here. And here we have the configuration and inside the config we have a statamic folder and all the files of statamic. So if I go to config statamic and we have all the configs for statamic and if I go we have the API for control panel, forms, uh, OAuth, routes, search, sites. So if I go here we have a default one and the name is going to be inside the what is inside the config app name and if you go to the config app name you now you know now we have the uh, default is data mix so if i change to laraveler and what is inside the dot env app name okay if i go inside the env and we have the data mix here we can change the Laraveler, save, and nothing happened here. And you know, because if you go now to the resources, inside the views, we have uh, three files the default antlers HTML, the home one, and Lyota. And this layout one, so if I change this to, sorry, site name, uh, say, save and refresh now. And you see we have a Laraveller, but I'm going to leave it to give it the title or the title of the page or the site name if you don't have. Okay. and. This uh, layout handlers is like a default layout in Laravel applications. So here we have the basic HTML and here we have the uh, yield content in Laravel, but here we add template content. Okay. So anything we can add can render here. If you go to the so if I change this, remove this one, uh, save, come here, refresh, and we are not having this in the center because I remove it. Save, refresh, and this statamic control panel and that links are coming from the home from here. Handlers. And to show you inside the dashboard, we have the collections, and for now, we have only the pages. But if I go here, uh, edit collections, okay, uh, and here we have the template, and by default, it's going to be default, or inside the layout, we have the layout. Page. So this uh, this layout here, and if I change, for example, to four or four, and save, come here, refresh, we have a four or four page. Change the layout and save, refresh. Okay, we have the Tailwind CSS here and the site JS, and that's coming from the if I go here, the webpack. We have a resources JS site JS here, and inside the resources JS site JS, 
we don't have anything here. When we have a tile in CSS, so if inside the CSS, tilewind CSS, here we have imported the base of the tilewind component and utilities, and we import the site, which is this one here. For now, we don't have anything, but if we make changes here, we don't need to add inside the web component, uh, web pack, but by default, it's going to is important that the Tallinn CSS is going to add inside here. Okay. So I want to render a dynamic data here. And we go to the pages, home. Where you see, we have this welcome to your new static website okay but in the home because here we add the template is home so inside the home here we have this control panel and the documentation and get support okay the control panel and documentation get support if i change the template to the default one and if you, you see here we, ha we have a go to listing or continue editing where we save so if I save we I'm staying here and refresh now and we have the oh, text here okay welcome to your new Statomic website and if you go to the default one so we have only the content and if you want to add the, uh, the title of the page we can add here for example just add it here and so this is the title refresh and we have the home here and if I change the title to home page for example just to make a change refresh and we have home page here you see it's not a very good styles here so if I add h1 with the class of uh, text to excel and text uh, green 500 for example okay and here at the paragraph uh, content save come here refresh and nothing happen why nothing happen if i need to run maybe the npm run dev okay we need to add the npm install to install all the dependencies because i don't have i don't make this before so install all okay at npm run dev here okay Yes, if I refresh now, yeah, now we have the home page change, but we have in line, and that's it.
inside the layouts. We need to remove this. Save, come here, refresh, and we have that one. Uh, maybe we want to add here a div with a class of max width. 6 Excel and makes auto save, come here, refresh yeah, now we have save in the center okay, and that's it for this video hope you enjoy if you like, please like the video and See you in the next one. Thank you very much.